Hello, hello, my name is Barbara Beale and this is my sewing video. I am an actress and artist and I love to sew. I've been sewing for quite a while, although I've never made a video about it before. And since it's September and I just recently found out that Oktoberfest takes place in September, so I thought, well, why not make myself a fun little Oktoberfest costume? This costume, of course, will not be accurate. It is absolutely just for fun, just for me, something for me to do, um, and then drink beer in, in Canada, where I am. <laughs> so my grand idea is to use only fabrics that I have lying around the house, so fabrics, threads, notions, and I'm gonna also draft my own pattern which I'm not terribly familiar with. So I invite you, I invite you. I invite you to come with me on this journey. It's gonna be fun. Here we go. this beautiful fabric that my mother gave me something to give the vest structure because my plan is for the exterior to be a very shiny red material it's a synthetic satin ish feeling to it so here I am cutting on the fold while my doggo MacTig wants attention I'm drawing along my pattern pieces with the intention to cut outside that line to create my seam allowance I am so glad that I used a shirt that fit pretty big because I did not take into account some kind of math and this was much much smaller than the actual shirt. Now that everything is cut out it's off to the sewing machine to sew that vest together then repeat the whole process with the shiny red material and then combine them. Okay while sewing together this drafted pattern for a vest I sewed together the upper edge and then along the sides leaving the bottom open so I could turn it inside out and then I thought what about the sleeve holes and I have come to now understand that I do not know how to sew a lining into a vest because I should have sewed the armholes and the upper edges and then left the sides open that I didn't do that and then I surged it and it was just too hard. So what I've done here is I'm Frankensteining it. I have folded over the edges and then pressed them so that when I take out the pins and turn it right side out, that, that press will still be there and I'll be able to just, I don't know, hand stitch the linings together. So, lesson learned. 
Since I'm going to be lacing up this vest, I needed to create some eyelets for that lacing to go through. I decided I wanted to do this by hand instead of putting metal eyelets in there, so I had a little search online and I found a fantastic video by Morgan Donner where she explains how she did that on a corset. I'll put a link to that in the caption below. So what I did to make the holes is I found something that was like a tapered awl. I ended up using this cute little chopstick I had for my hair, and you want to try to squeeze that between the fibers instead of cutting any fibers. And once you've made your hole big enough, then you do just a really easy whip stitch around. I ended up using embroidery floss that I had lying around, and I think it worked out pretty well. It is finally starting to look like a vest and I am so excited. I ended up putting a little piece of boning on either side just between the eyelets and the edge so that it would have a bit of structure and not pull so much once the lacing is in. Then I've just pinned all along the bottom. Once I run this through the sewing machine, the vest is done. Up next is the floof that will be going underneath the skirt. I'm saying floof because I'm not sure if the correct name for this would be a crinoline. Basically, I'm taking this garment that I found in my closet and I'm cutting it apart to create that floofy underskirt. The upper bodice, I turned over the edges to create the waistband that this crinoline would sit on and then I cut out just the lowest tier and then I gathered it with a long basting stitch. I sewed that to the folded over upper layer and presto, I've got myself a little crinoline. This is quite possibly the easiest skirt I've ever made. I just cut that on the fold, uh, slight curve at the top, curve at the bottom, and then I just surged this side. It's made of swimsuit material, so I didn't even finish the edges. Did it in like 10 minutes. for watching my video all the way to the end. There you have it. My Oktoberfest outfit is done. I hope that you had fun. I know I did. I also learned a lot, such as researching how to put linings into things and a lot about editing. But I'm pretty excited doing this. I think it's a lot of fun. I've actually got a few more garments already documented and I'm pretty excited about putting those out there too. I'm calling this my bedsheet collection coming up because I am making an 18th century gown entirely out of bedsheets from the underpinnings out. Um, the things that I've constructed so far made a sneaky little appearance in this video. So I hope you join me again next time as I go into the creation of those. Thank you very much. Happy Oktoberfest. Prost!